So um, I was on the Potomac River, uh, Rosary Island, Maryland, um, by the National Park, uh, right off the uh, Route 195-95 uh, bridge, um, connecting Old Town, Alexandria, and uh, My trolling motor didn't work. It worked a little bit and then stopped. So um, I actually, before the trip, I actually checked the voltage of this battery of the remote control. And it was 3.03 volts. Um, apparently 3.03 volts is only 50% charged. So it's not enough to send a signal to the trolling motor receiver. That's why it didn't work. And um, I had this, um, you know, big, um, what is it, 15 um, batteries um, lying at home because I didn't think I need to bring it. Anyway, so now I, re now I know, always uh, bring an actual uh, battery when you go fishing because, you know, it takes a long time to get to, uh, you know, to, to travel six miles to uh, there. and. The last thing you want is trolling motor stop working. So let me open this up. Well, let me first show you what is the 100% charged battery of a um, uh, three volts battery should have. It should have 3.3 volts at least if it's fully charged. Look. See that? Three, three no. Now I'm going to open up this uh, motor guide remote control. Every type will have to be CR2032, which is this guy here, 2032. So this is the old battery.
Oh, that's interesting. My old battery actually has 3.2. So the battery should work too. Because it has 3.2 volts. Hmm. Okay. This is a um, motor guy remote control M uh, A6 something like that. It uses CR2032 batteries. So, you know, yeah, I got the three volt battery, three CR2032. But which side do I insert this in? Do I insert it in this way, or do I insert it this way? You know, it seems to me both sides can work, but. This thing says positive is on top. And this one says positive here. So this must be positive and this must be negative. And if I use my voltmeter and I remember this is my ne positive, negative, and you can see that shows. Now this is weird. That only gives me 2.96, 2.97. I was getting three before, so I don't know what's up with this now. Yeah, that only gives me 2.99 volts. That's weird. But it shows this is positive, this is negative. So, something is not kosher here. 3.01, so this has to be the old batteries. Let me try this new battery. New battery. It says 3.20. This is definitely weird because before it was like 3.3. You know, with this new battery, but I put it in. All of a sudden, it dropped to 3.0, uh, 2.99. See, now it's only 3.03. .03. Not sure what's up with that. You know. So. Let me get another new one out of here. So that's a new one. See, that one is showing 3.3. .3. You know, definitely weird. So let me put it in. Okay. So it was 3.3 .3 before. Let me take it out. Oh, by the way, this is positive. So positive face side, facing up. This is positive. Don't put it in this way. It's this way. So there we go. So let's. Um, I just insert it, and let's uh, do it again. Three point three zero. You know. So it was weird that that you know one of the new batteries. See, this is the three point zero. This is the old one. This is the new one. Only has 3.05 now. So this one is bad. Totally bad. Put the 3.3 in. Cap the 3.02. And call it a done. You know, the 3.05 is definitely you don't want it. It's only 50% charged. See, that says it's only 3.06. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, so there you have it.
remote control battery, so now it should work. Look. Because I just heard a ding. So I know it should work. That's pretty good. Now the remote control is working. 